Hey guys, it's JM here with another edition of Pages from Sages. And the first two sessions that we've done, two episodes, were of drawing from fiction books. Um, this one is coming from the opposite ends of the spectrum. This is coming from a grammatical textbook written over a hundred years ago. This is uh, <clears throat> from Figures of Speech Used in the Bible by E.W. Bullinger. Bullinger was a theologian, um, you know, he died in 1913. He, he wrote, basically, this book is a breakdown of every figure of speech used in the Bible according to its Latin or Greek grammatical structure. <laughs> so, if you have trouble sleeping, insomniacs, you got Ambien, or you can read this. Why am I doing this for uh, Pages from Sages? What, what makes, why would I pick this book? Well, Whenever I teach on the Bible, if you've taken Bible for the rest of us, which is available free through Disciple Dojo, uh, click on our video page and you can take, well actually it's coming out soon, but by the time you see this it may be out. Uh, you can do the course Bible for the rest of us and we offer that free. The beginning of the course, I use the quote that I'm about to read you because I think it's one of the best quotes ever written about the nature of the Bible and Bible study and why we do it. And Bullinger, this is in the preface, at the very beginning of this book, before he gets into all the really technical, boring stuff for non-grammarians. He says, <clears throat> he's talking about, you know, basically the introduction to the book, why he did it, and how we should study Scripture. And he says, The Word of God may in one respect be compared to the earth. All things necessary to life and sustenance may be obtained by scratching the surface of the earth. But there are treasures of beauty and wealth to be obtained by digging deeper into it. So it is with the Bible. All things necessary to life and godliness lie upon its surface for even the humblest saint. But beneath that surface are great spoils which are found only by those who seek after them as for hid treasure. I love this line. The rest of the book, again, it's all technical stuff. Um, but I love what he says. The comparison is so cool. When you're studying Scripture, he says, you know, compare Scripture to the earth. Think about the surface of the earth, right? Everything we need is on the surface. Right? Plants, water, sunlight, air, trees, you know, to build stuff with, animals to uh, milk or to eat or to help us in our crop raising. Everything we need is on the surface. But yet companies, think of like companies like De Beers or, um, you know, Exxon or BP or any of these massive companies, what do they spend their billions of dollars on? They spend it basically on digging underneath the surface of the earth. Why do they do it? Because they believe that the billions that they spend on getting these little pieces of metal out of the earth or these little crystals that are clear and really hard, or, or this, this liquidy stuff uh, that they can burn and can use in engines, they believe that in the end, that will be worth far more than the billions of dollars that they've spent to get it. And they're right, it is. You know, people literally die to get to what's under the surface of the earth. And so if an alien were to come and be like, why are you digging down there for these little yellowish minerals or, or these clear crystals or, you know, this, this black liquidy stuff. Why? Everything you need is on the surface. We would have to say, you don't understand, Mr. Alien, <laughs> assuming he speaks English and is a mister. Uh, it's worth it. It's worth, there's stuff down there that is worth it. And, and they may never understand, you know, somebody from another planet would be like, I don't get it. Uh, possibly. Who knows? But the point is that the people digging, they're not doing it just for fun. They're doing it because they believe there's something worth blasting through this rock to get to. There's something worth moving this mountain, literally, whether you like it or not, uh, whether it's environmentally friendly or not. There's people who think that doing that, the end result is going to be worth it. That's how it is when we study the Bible, when I teach the Bible, actually. When I teach the Bible, my, my role is to be a tour guide, to, to help people in uh, like taking them on an excavation and saying, hey, let's dig here for a minute. Or here, use this shovel or use this pickaxe because that'll help you get to what you want to get to, what's, what I know is buried here. 
because I've already dug it myself. And that's what any good teacher should be doing, especially a teaching of Scripture, is showing people how to dig. Not digging it up and just you know, regurgitating it to them. That's, there, there's a lot of there's a temptation for people to go, well, I go to church and the pastor just teaches me and, and that's where I get my learning from. And, you know, like Bullinger said, everything necessary for even the humblest saint is available on the surface. You go to an NFL game, you see the guy with the rainbow head holding up John 316, and you go home and you get, you know, or you're in a hotel somewhere, you pull out a Gideon's Bible, you read John 316, you realize that God actually loves you and he actually came, stepped into your reality and paid a penalty and to set the universe right that we had accrued on ourselves as humans and all of this stuff that, that the gospel is, it's, it's just so much more than just dying and going to heaven. But that's another talk for another time. But when you, you could just read John three sixteen and realize that give your life to the Lord, you'd be as holy that moment as you'll ever be, no matter how much you study scripture. But the more you dig, the more you do study scripture, you're going to find that there's treasure down there in there. Uh, you're going to find things that you never even thought you'd find. You're, you're going to, you're going to, I've seen it I've, I've, as a Bible teacher. I see it all the time for over a decade now, people's being challenged, being transformed, being comforted, being rebuked. Um, scripture just unlike any other collection of writings that I know of the, the, the Hebrew Bible and the Greek new Testament has a way of changing us if we read it and if we really study it. And I don't mean devotional read it. I don't mean precious moments, verse of the day. Uh, chapters and verses aren't original to the Bible. They never, no Bible author ever wrote a chapter or a verse. They wrote literature. Only later did it get divided into chapters and verses and then it becomes uh, easy to just, I mean, we, when you get an email, you don't read it and divide it into verses and then read this verse from the email today and then tomorrow I'm going to read this. Ver no, you read the email because you want to get the message because you assume that the person that's sending it to you has something that you need to know. And so that's how it is with Scripture as well is we need to assume that God has something in it that he wants us to know. Even if you don't believe in God, you know, let's say you're a skeptic, agnostic, atheist, you watch these videos because you know me from my artwork or jujitsu or whatever you like, however you found this, just knowing that when you read scripture, you're reading something that in a way you may not be able to explain has changed the lives of people throughout history. Um, at the very least, you're getting a better understanding of the human condition, the human psyche, uh, this, this world that we live in, anthropologically speaking. But in doing that, be careful, because you may be challenged deeper than you think. And many a Christian started out reading the Bible um, as a skeptic. And that may or may not be your case for you. It's up to you, ultimately. But I can just tell you, as somebody who professionally translate reads, studies, and teaches scripture, Bollinger's quote in Figures of Speech Used in the Bible is dead on. The deeper you dig into it, the more treasure you're going to find.